Hey, welcome to another Crafter Noon. And today we're going to make a turkey, um, just in time for Thanksgiving. So what you'll need, you'll need a round coffee filter that you're gonna flatten out, and I'll show you what you're gonna do with that. Um, you need two brown circles, a bigger one, and then a smaller one for the turkey's head. You need two about five inch strips of orange paper for the legs, and then I cut out little orange feet, and a little piece of yellow for his beak, okay? So let me explain, first of all, how we're gonna do the wings. This is my coffee filter that I've already colored to save time, but if you have a round coffee filter at home, you wanna color it with bright, beautiful colors with washable marker, okay? And once you get it all colored, you wanna make sure you put a lot of color in there. Then you're gonna, I already did it with this one, so you can see the tie-dye effect. The only thing you might wanna put down some newspaper when you do this, because it tends to make a mess. And then if you have a little water bottle, you're gonna sprinkle it with water. And what happens is all the colors are gonna blend and it has a tie-dye effect. So you can do that in fall colors. I used red, orange, yellow, and browns. So let that dry. You wanna make sure it's nice and dry before you add your turkey. Then you've got your two circles, one for the body, one for the head. I cut out two circles for his eyes and colored in his eyeballs. For his legs, We've got the two five inch strips. And what you want to do is fold them forward and backward. So if you keep folding forward and backward, I'll show you what the legs will look like then. Then they have a little triangle or a accordion type. Let me glue this one on. Glue it here and then you're going to glue the second leg on as you can see I have both legs here and then you can attach a little foot to that so I'll attach this one just to show you just glue it on there you go so you got one foot then you can do the other same way with the accordion I'll fold it back and forth Takes a little practice to do, but you'll get the hang of it <laughs> once you do it. Okay, here's the second leg. So you wanna glue that on. Glue that right there. And then glue the other little foot on, the little claw. That goes on. Okay, and while you're doing this stuff, you're, um, the wings can be drying. So here you have your legs, okay? Now we're gonna cut out the beak. So the beak, I folded a piece of yellow in half, and you just wanna make a little triangle. And then you wanna glue part of that beak right to his nose. And it looks like his beak is open. There you go. And then when you're all done, after this completely dries, this you can glue on to be the wings. If you wanna glue it, yeah, we'll glue it like this. And you just glue it on. And then you have a beautiful turkey. And like I said, make sure this dries. So, um, you know, you can glue it on after it dries and you get a beautiful tie-dye effect. Today we're gonna read Thanksgiving. Um, it's written and illustrated by Ethan Long. And thank you to Bloomsbury Books for allowing us to read this. Thanksgiving. It was the fourth Thursday in November, and the monsters gathered for their annual Thanksgiving Day feast. Everyone chipped in. Virginia whipped up the sweet potatoes. Sandy mixed the stuffing. Mumford 
made the cranberry sauce. Of course, Vladimir prepared the turkey. He knew how to cook it just right. Then, out of nowhere, he heard a honk, honk, honk. Uncle Gus, Aunt Betsy, Joey and Schmoey, what a pleasant surprise. Vladimir loved seeing his family, even when they dropped in unexpectedly. It was a happy reunion. Vladimir invited them inside. Everyone, this is my family. Family, this is everyone. Oh my, what is it? Interesting smell. Mashed potatoes and garlic. Aunt Betsy whipped up another batch, this time with eyeballs and earwax. Ooh. Uncle Gus inspected the turkey. Of course, he had his own method. Now, that's how you cook a turkey. Looks like he's electrocuting it. Joey and Schmoey helped Fran make the pumpkin pie. But it turned into a lumpkin pie. They just love maggot meatballs. Here you see the maggots. And then there was Spike, who had never met anything he didn't want to swallow. Anything. Vladimir loved his family, but they were quickly making a monstrosity of the Thanksgiving feast. Baboon burps? Yum. Snail spit makes everything taste good. He needs one more good zap. Ooh, the turkey doesn't look too good. And they didn't stop there. The bean casserole had 10 sticks of boogie butter in it. The mashed potatoes had a strange look to them. And the biscuits were as hard as headstones. And the turkey, let's just say that Uncle Gus roasted it to death. But because they were family, Vladimir was determined to make the best of it. Okay, everyone, gather around. It's morning already. Could somebody shut that window? The sun is burning my eyes. <gasps> the room went black. Bad idea. Yeah, I can't see anything. What's that crunching sound? Somebody turn on the light. And when the light went on, Thanksgiving was gone. Dog gone. Spike had devoured everything. For Vladimir, this was the last straw. You, you, you ruined Thanksgiving. What do you mean we ruined Thanksgiving? We were only trying to help. Vladdy, you can't be mad at us. We're family. Aunt Bessie was right. They were family. And if Vladimir remembered correctly, family worked together. So he demanded a do-over. They cooked all day. They used whatever they could find. They made potato peel pudding. They cooked a bread crust casserole. They baked turkey bone biscuits. They even made a batch of flea bean dip with just a touch of garlic. And that evening with some corn dogs they found in the freezer out came the perfect turkey. Now that's how you cook a turkey. 
It looks amazing. Great work, everyone. Are corn dogs made of real dogs? <laughs> so, on the fourth Friday in November, everyone gave thanks. Even Spike was grateful in his own way. And of course, the food was to die for. And that's the end. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving.